Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And in Honolulu, there's a restaurant called Honolulu Cafe Eight and a Half. And they put up a sign saying, if you vote for Trump, you cannot eat here. No Nazis. So they're basically calling all Trump voters Nazis, which is slanderous. Photo of the sign was shared with foxnews.com. One also is probably posted on Cafe's Facebook page and was likely liked by some 40 people. Next time you're in Honolulu, eat lunch here. Not only are they on the right side of things, food is delicious and reasonable. Facebook user Ariel Agor wrote next to the photo. Others are not so charmed. Honolulu resident and Donald Trump voter Susan Roberts told FoxNews.com she found the sign in extremely poor taste. It's childish and un very unprofessional, she said in an email. The restaurant owner doesn't have to worry. I will not be stepping foot in that establishment. Willis Lee, former chairman of the Hawaii Republican Party, now president of the National Federation of Republican Assemblies, told Fox News the sign is discriminatory and harkens back to racist and hate-filled days for statehood. Remember when Filipinos can go in certain places or Japanese wouldn't be allowed in many homes and didn't matter who they voted for? said Lee, who is of Japanese descent. People should be able to get food without hearing a political message. One parent, former customer, wrote on Yelp, I'll never go back. According to Honolulu Star Advertiser, the cafe was founded by Robert Warner, a former hairstylist for Vidal Sassoon in San Francisco, go figure, and former restaurateur in Seattle, along with his wife, Jaylee. Reach for comment Tuesday. Jaylee downplayed the sign's supposed ban. She told FoxNews.com the restaurant is not actually asking customers whether they vote for President-elect Trump. and said even if they see a customer in a Trump t-shirt, we don't put anything different in your food. Good God. I wouldn't trust them, to be honest with you. I wouldn't go there if I was in Hawaii, which I'm not. Robert just wants to express how much he doesn't like Trump. Jelly said, if people take it personally or it hurts them, we cannot help. That's why we say they have a choice if they want to come here or not. We do not force them. You, madam, are a disgrace to you and your husband are both a disgrace to the restaurant business. You are a disgrace to Hawaii, and you are a disgrace to this country. She said people called in to complain about sign when first went up. That's it. We don't want to create trouble. Jelly said there's enough trouble in the world. Well, you already did create trouble. While Jaylee is soft-spoken so Warner, some of his customers know, is known to channel the soup Nazi persona of New York City and Seinfeld fame, throwing pots and pans, telling off customers, and hanging not-so-friendly reminders on butcher papers for his customers to read. But another Yelp reviewer took issue with the attitude and the signs Writing, it was funny on Seinfeld, but this place can run away. Stay away, Hawaii ain't like this. There's a lot of better places on the island than to have to deal with this extra crap like this. Hawaii overwhelmingly supported hologram Hillary during the November 8 election and historically has supported Democrats in local and national races. In fact, just six Republicans are. In the 51 member House and the 25 member Senate is GOP free. Now that the election is over, however, Lee said most residents just want to get on with their lives. The restaurant owners might want to make a better sign, he said, since 
Trump will undoubtedly be in office for eight years. So there you have it. Another case of discrimination. I uh, hope their business takes a sudden turn for the worse. I'm going to take a look at their Facebook page if I can find it and leave them a rather ugly uh, note or two. This is despicable. But this is uh, your liberalism. I mean, they claim that they're they claim to be inclusive, but look at what they do. They're not inclusive at all. It's a simple fact of the matter. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Thanks for watching.